Hi there, welcome back to Loopy Mabel's Closet. My name is Jane. Now, in today's vlog, it's just a follow on from my little knicker mini series that I've been doing. I've had a few requests if I could just show you how I come to make my knicker block. So, thought I'd share it with you. Before I go over to my cutting station and just show you what I did, I'm wearing my Wilder gown blouse today, made in this gorgeous botanical print that Laura gave me um, in return for a blog post from a material girl, Laura, and I'll put the link to her website in the box below as usual. So I'm just gonna head on over to the cutting station and just basically show you what I did to get my knicker block. You just need to take a few body measurements and create your block. Right, so I'm at the cutting table and um, I did a lot of research and went on to Google, went on to YouTube to try and find the best method on making my block. And I used a lot of reference from the three, there's a three step tutorial on the sewing directory and she shows you how to put your calculations in and um, come out with your, your knicker block but I also found a brilliant since then a brilliant YouTube channel called Liz Sores and she has done very similar and she's done an Excel spreadsheet where you can put your calculations in if you're not very good at maths and it will calculate all your measurements for you. I'll put the link for that in the box below, really good reference. And since I've made my block, which I have used mine on proper cardboard, because obviously it's gonna be more durable, so I've got it all the time now to make any variations of knickers I like from these blocks, because this obviously these are made to measure for me, and there's the gusset as well. Gusset should never change, so you should never ever need to do anything to your gusset once you've got your gusset made. If you want to do any changes to your knicker, it will be obviously to the front and the back. The gusset won't change at all, so that's going to stay the same. So you need to um, take your measurements, but as I say, if you put it into that um, spreadsheet, it will calculate it for you. From the calculations that you get in the spreadsheet, you you obviously there's no point in me repeating it because you can go on to list source and it's absolutely brilliant tutorial but then you you make your block so once you've made your block with your measurements um, like I did you've got your back and your front and they're always on they're on both on the fold so I've got my front there and I've got my back and then as I say you've got your gusset which is on the fold and your gusset's never going to change but you can now from your block then from there, you can change the style lines of your block. So this block here is the basic Bridget Jones style high waist knicker block. But from this block, I can then change the height of the waistline. I can bring it lower down. And then if I wanted, I could change the leg line as well. I could make it a high leg. And all you would do is adjust it. So from my block, in my other tutorial, I showed you I did, I think, five different styles. So I did the full high waist style. Then my next one, I traced, obviously traced from this block all the time. And I'd made patterns from the block. So for example, the high waist one. So that is a comp just a copy, a traced copy of the high waist one. So if I want to make any more high waist pants, I've got that one. And then I wanted to then try uh, maybe a lower, lower cut pant. So then I went down by one and a half inches from the block. So this is now one and a half inches lower at the waist. I haven't done anything to the leg. So this is now, I've called this my midi pattern. And I've done exactly for the back. So the back and the front at the sides will always meet the same distance. So whatever you take off at the front, you take off at the back. So this is now my midi knicker pattern. And then I went a little bit lower and I did the hipster. 
So there's my hipster, which is two and a half inches lower. That's the hipster. I really like that height. And I also like the midi as well. And then I went one step lower and I did the bikini, which was four and a quarter inches down from the main waistline. And there is the bikini. I'll just show you the bikini. So I've not changed anything on the leg. I've just come down from the waist and again that's quite a nice um, style too. I like all the styles in fact, they're all lovely and they're all comfortable and they all fit me like a glove which is absolutely the main thing. So I've got the four styles there but what you can do is once you've got your styles and you get a little bit more confident, as I say your, your gusset doesn't change, you can then if you wanted a high leg, a high leg style, so if I wanted to I could then get my French curve and lift a leg and bring it back down that way if I wanted if I wanted a higher leg and I could also lower the leg so to make it more like of a short pant obviously if I'm going to change the leg section I wouldn't change um, this section here because obviously my gusset fits perfectly there but as I say you could literally come higher up and change it that way so for that pair of pants that I did where I actually did the change where I did that lovely panel at the front, what I did with that was I got my obviously two pieces and I put them both together and I drew a pattern around them like that. So I drew on some paper all the way around this together and obviously these blocks don't have any seam allowances in so you can do what you want with the blocks and then you put the seam allowances in at the end. So with this one, I drew all the way around on a piece of paper so it looked like this before I cut it up. Just to show you. So it looked like that. Let's get a bit of pattern weight to weight down a bit. So that's what it looked like. So just one piece of tissue paper. So I've got obviously the front and the back all joined as one and from there then you can decide well do I want to put maybe a little bit of a panel in the back or do I, so for on this piece obviously I wanted to put that panel in the front so I cut down there to make my front section which then created a bigger back section so there's the line that would normally join at the side but this now comes around the front so then I've added my seam allowances on there because obviously we've cut into the fabric so it's going to be fabric stitched to fabric so you need your seam allowances so I've had my seam allowances on there and added my seam allowance on there so you've got like a smaller front panel but it still works out exactly the same and then you would then stitch your pieces together so instead of stitching your two knickers at the side as you would normally you do you just stitch them to wherever your join is but again I could have Put another panel in the back and I could have sliced across the back and changed it and maybe put a different panel there but then if, whatever you do you need to then add your seam allowances and basically that's all you have to do that's all you need to do so you can just literally change the style line of your knickers really whatever you want this is just my first attempt so if I wanted to put a panel at the back I would maybe draw my line obviously slice down there and then I would have to add a seam allowance on that piece and a seam allowance on that piece then I could cut it out in whatever fabric I want that one in cut my panel out in that one and then obviously cut my panel in that one then you stitch them all back up together as usual so you've still got the pant stitched together but you've added your different panels and your different styles in that you want so it really is as simple as that I've even made a pattern with my gusset and I've actually added the seam allowance on this one I've got that pattern so I can use that gusset for all of my patterns and I've just added the seam allowance in just just because it's easier I don't have to do it every time um, so yes I've got five different pattern pieces all different styles I haven't tried any of the high leg styles I may well do um, but that's the beauty of this because you can just do what you like so basically that's all I did uh, there's loads of, like I said, brilliant references on YouTube, loads of brilliant references on Google. I'll put the links for all the references that I used in the box below. So hopefully I've inspired you to get making your own knickers now. You've all been making knickers from patterns. Now you can make knickers from your very own pattern. How good is that? So 
Easy as that. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. And if you've just found me and you haven't subscribed and you like to follow along with me, I would love it if you could subscribe too. Super simple. I think once you've made your first knickers, if you and especially if you have a go at making drafting your own knicker block, which will then mean any knickers that you do make will fit you like a glove. And I'm telling you, you will be hooked. If you've got any leftover jerseys, this is absolutely ideal for that. Even the smallest scraps of jersey will make some gussets. I've even started make, keeping a little box where I've got tiny scraps with big enough for a gusset and I've been cutting out gussets in like pairs and putting them in a box. So when I run out of knickers, which I won't be for quite a while because I've got quite a few made now, but when I do run out, I've got gussets ready to go. So it's an ideal way of using up your scraps. So thanks for watching me today. I have got my t-shirt vlog coming this week too. I have found at least 20, more than 20 free t-shirts patterns online that you can download for free. So I thought I'd do a little vlog going through all them with you and from there I'm going to do a little mini series and I'm going to have a go at making if not all of them quite a lot of the t-shirts and then I can do a little bit of a mini review and give you a little bit of information on that pattern before you go ahead and make it yourself so that's coming soon but until the meantime thanks for joining me today as always please take care and get pattern drafting <laughs>